start with an existing face AR scene open or create a new one. You can see there's the shape of a face, what we call a face mesh in the scene. It represents a person's face in the real world. We'll be laying our AR content around and on the face mesh in this tutorial by adding a butterfly flying around and landing on our nose. Then add a falling flower filter over our face. The first step is to add the 3D model of a butterfly. Open the media library and select the 3D model of the butterfly I uploaded earlier. It's easy to upload 3D models or image, audio or video content. Click on Add New. Then, select the content type you want to upload. In this example, the 3D model of the butterfly has been animated and the animations exported with the model as clip animations and as a GLB file format. Select Use. Then Place to add it to the scene. You can see by default this 3D model is large over the face, so let's make it smaller by scaling down its size. Click on one of the cube scale handles on the gizmo as you're holding down the shift key to scale evenly across all axes to make it smaller. Now we'll hide the butterfly so it's invisible when the scene first loads. Then, when the scene loads, we'll make the butterfly show and set up an animation so it sits on your nose with its wings slowly flapping. Then we'll set an event so that when you open your mouth, the butterfly that's on your nose flies in front of your face, then lands on your nose again. Each time you open your mouth this will happen. Going back to our scene with our object still selected, click the More Options icon, the one with the three dots. Open it and see Visibility is selected by default. Turn Visibility off as we want our model hidden at the start and you'll see the model disappear. So we can still work with the butterfly, in the top bar of the editor interface next to the scene settings, we have the Show All Objects mode. Turn it on and you'll see any invisible objects in your scene shown in ghosted mode. The next step is to set the animations we need to create our simple butterfly face filter. The first animation will be set on load, which means when the AR scene loads in the web browser. We want to display our butterfly now, so choose animation type visibility change. We'll set duration of the animation to 3 seconds and apply it to our butterfly model. We also want to start with the butterfly quite small. Close the Animations panel and scale your object smaller. Open the Animations panel again to add our next animation. This time, we're setting the scale value so when the butterfly displays, it grows in size just once. Remember, its original size when we scaled it originally in the scene was roughly 1700% larger than its source size before we made it super small. We want to make it that size again, which means we'll need to make it about 600% larger than it is now, and make sure we're applying it to the butterfly model. Ensure the scaling persists, as we want it to stay that size, not revert back to the tiny version once the scale animation is complete. Now click Done. We can preview the animation in Editor mode too. You can see that it starts hidden, then see the butterfly becomes bigger. Let's create one more animation to play alongside this animation. Select a new On Load animation, then Model Clip Animation, which are the animations the model has been exported with. Select the model and choose the idle animation from the list of available clip animations. Set it to play forever, with no delay on the animation starting. Then click Done and we'll preview it. Now we'll add another set of animations to play when you open your mouth. Select On Mouth Open as the event trigger. The first animation is another clip animation, so when you open your mouth, the butterfly will fly. Select the butterfly model again. If you had more models in the scene, you could select more models to be animating here as well. Select the clip animation Fly 1 and Loop Forever. That has an effective duration of 4.12 seconds. Now to rotate or turn our butterfly as it's flying, add a rotate animation to the same event and delay its start by one second after your mouth opens. We'll rotate 359 degrees around the Y axis. And we're done with that. One more animation to have our butterfly move further and then closer to your face as it's flying. Add another animation, this time move. We want it to be yo-yo, so it flies away then towards you slightly. 
make the duration 4.12 seconds to match the original Fly One animation. As we only want it to move slightly forward and back to us, we'll move it only 5 centimeters each way. And maybe we want to move it up a little as well. By making it yo yo, it's going to move towards us and up. Then at the end of the animation, it'll reverse the animation. Then click Done. Now, we want an animation showing the butterfly landing again. This time, we're going to choose Clip Animation again, and it's going to land just one time. We want the delay to be 4.12 seconds. As it's got a 6.2 second landing timeline, make that 150% to speed it up and click Done. To preview it live, scan the QR code on screen now to test on your mobile. Or you can navigate to live mode on your desktop too, and you'll see the butterfly appear over your face. Open your mouth to start it flying. Now we've tested the first bit. Let's add our falling flowers as a face texture. Remember, our butterfly is hidden, so to see it in the scene in edit mode, click the show all objects. Another way to easily select hidden objects in the scene, or objects that may not have a point of origin close to where they are, is to open the scene list, then select the object from there. We're going to add our flowers video to the face texture so they wrap around your face. Click the face icon, then set face texture. The face texture can be an image or a video. I'm using an alpha video, a video with a transparent background so the face will show through it and the flowers will stick to your face. All I need to do to test that again is just reload my web page if you've got it open in your mobile device. Or scan the QR code on the screen at the moment and you can see it there as well. We can't wait to see what you build. For more on creating a bunch of different web AR with awe, including image AR, spatial AR or world tracking, face AR effects and filters, GPS AR and more, head to awe.media.